All right, we see movies kind of to depict what the technology is going to be like in the future, but when it comes to our homes, the future is already here. And the concept of a smart home is a reality. Now we just have to learn how to incorporate it into our lives. Well, a technology expert shares how we can step into our new reality. From smartphones to smart homes, technology is definitely making its way into our lives. But why would someone want to invest in a smart home and what can it do for us? Lifestyle expert Carly Noblock joins us today to talk about how you can turn your house into a smart home. Thanks for joining us, Carly. Thank you so much for having me. Now, when we say smart home, I kind of feel like we're being very futuristic. What, what does that really mean to have a smart home? It feels that way, doesn't it? But it's actually very right now um, and has some really compelling stories that make it pretty amazing in regular people's lives today. Um, <clears throat> a smart home is really just another way of saying that all the different systems in the house, your lights, your shades, your locks, your television, um, all of those things can be operated from one central place and you can operate it remotely from wherever you are. So it's kind of like the remote control for your whole house. And um, for, for many of us, it's on our smartphone. So when we're away on vacation, when we're at work, we can adjust all kinds of things about our home and monitor the home and, uh, and, and really affect changes there. I've actually partnered with Control 4, which is the biggest provider of home automation in the world. And we're really trying to spread the message that a smart home can help you simplify your life and do really amazing things like help you save money and keep your family safer. Now, when we're talking about that home automation, what type of things can we control when we're traveling, when we're so far away? So when I'm getting ready to leave for a trip, I've got my suitcase in hand and I'm by the front door. I have a little button on my wall that says away. And when I press that button, all the lights in the house turn off. The thermostat adjusts higher so that it's not cooling the house unnecessarily while I'm gone. The, any TVs that might have been on turn off, the shades on the house lower, and the alarm starts to set, and the doors lock. So with one button, I've programmed the house to basically shut down and get ready for me to not be in it. Um, and then while I'm on vacation, I can uh, fire up the app and look at cameras inside the house or outside of the house to monitor things. Maybe the dog's at home, I wanna make sure she's okay. Maybe the, you know, wanna check on uh, the exterior and make sure everything looks fine. Um, I can also adjust things like the lights and the thermostat to make sure that they're to my liking. And, you know, just the other day I got home from a trip and I touched down at the airport and then fired up the thermostat so that it was nice and cool at my house when I got home without having to run the air conditioning the whole time I was away. So some of these things can make the house more secure, also help you save money and really give you that peace of mind when you're on vacation that everything's fine at home. Well, that'll be great for us here in Arizona. We know how hot it is. It'd be great to turn the AC on a little bit before we get home. And I'm not going to lie, I would kind of like to watch my dog while I'm away. That sounds like a great option. But what about home automation right. when we're actually at the house? Absolutely. So one of the big things that I has made a huge difference in my house is a wireless window shade that I installed on several windows in my house, but specifically on this kitchen window that I have, this big, beautiful picture window. But man, when the house gets hot at the right at the certain time of day that the sun just beats in on that window, it gets so hot and then the air conditioning kicks in and uh, we have to sort of battle that heat. So now the house has been programmed to lower the shade at just that right time of day when that when the sun hits the house. And uh, so even if I'm not in the room or not even at home at all, the home is helping me lower the shade, save money on my energy bill and kind of and lower those costs. So it's an investment that I made in that window shade, but it pays back and helps me save energy in the long run. Um, and, and, and with the lights too, I mean, my kids are constantly leaving lights on in every room that they go into, they never turn the lights back off. And with the smart home system, I can um, affect change with all of those lights at the same time, or I can just choose which lights I wanna turn off. And I can do that from bed or from work or from wherever I am. I love all of these options, Carly. I want all of them. So where can we get some more information? <laughs> Yeah, for more information on home automation and kind of how to get started, you want to go to control4, and that's with the number 4.com. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thanks for having me. Don't go anywhere. The Morning Blend will be right back.